In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to create this awesome looking dashboard. It's working both in light and dark mode, and it is fully responsive. It's looking good in all resolutions. To build this, we'll use Tenstack Start and ShedCN. I encourage you to try building it yourself. It would make a great addition to your portfolio. As always, you have this code available for you on a public GitHub repository. You have it in the description below, and I'd like to hear what what kind of tutorial would you like next? Tell me in the comments. And now, let's start! First thing we need to do is to initialize the 10 stack start application. So we are on the official doc page of 10 stack start and we are going to the docs here in the sidebar. Then we are going to getting started and here we have our CLI command npx create start app at latest. So we are going to use this one to create our application. I'm inside of my projects directory in my terminal and I'm pasting that in npx create startup latest and now we need to choose the name of our project. I'm going to call it orkish 10 stack dashboard like this. Yes, we are going to use Tailwind, then we are going to use ESLint and from here what add-ons would we like? We want ShedCN. We don't need it basically because ShedCN commands are going to install everything for us, but this way it's probably easier and we don't want any examples, just going in, enter, and now we are installing everything, our dependencies via npm, and there it is. Now we can go to our Orkish 10 stack project, 10 stack dashboard, here it is, and we can run pmpm dev. And this one is going to run our project on a local host 3000. And as we can see, it's working. Now we are going to the ShedCN documentation and here to blocks. And the first block that we have featured is this dashboard that we need. So everything we need to do to implement this one is to run the npx shedcn add dashboard 01 command. So we are opening our terminal again. I'm going to open a new tab in the same project and I'm going to paste in the shedcn command. Now this one would install shedcn for us if we didn't have it already, but we have it because we chose that one in 10 stack start and it included all the components that we need to create our dashboard. So here we have everything, even the mock data here, we have the sidebar, navigation, all the buttons, separators, sheets and everything that we need. So now we can actually open our code. I'm running code dot inside of my project and now cursor is opened and I'm going to make it bigger so you can see everything and we can go to our index page. So this is our landing page that we are seeing basically here and we want to put here our new dashboard. So we are going back to the ShedCN documentation and here we have this code and we have the example for the whole page. So what am I going to do? I'm going to copy this entire content that is being rendered inside of that page and I'm going to paste it in instead of this default thing from 10 stack start and also I'm going to copy all the imports that we need to have here so this one I'm going to replace this logo which is not used anyway and for this data we just need to go into this data to see where it is so it's app dashboard data now AI already knows it and we can just save it so now if we return back to our 10 stack start we can see that we already have that dashboard up and running only thing left is this header right here. So we are going to our root file and I'm just going to remove this header. So this is basically like a layout in Next.js. There it is. So now everything is working. We have the sidebar working. All the things from ShedCN are awesome. Only thing left is the dark mode toggle. So once more, we are going to ShedCN. Here we are going to docs and then we are going to dark mode we are going to choose here Vit. That one is being used for 10 stack. And one fun fact, Vit means fast or quick on French. And we are going to copy this whole team provider, which we are going to put inside of our components directory. So here I'm creating a new team provider.tsx and I'm going to paste this whole thing in. So now we can here just remove a couple of things 
first is this local storage we are just going to remove this part from here and also this one we can remove this context because if we put our mouse over we can see that it is an unnecessary conditional so i'm going to delete this part as well and this is used for the teams i'm just going to leave it in case i create a new video for changing teams and now we return back to the documentation so we need to put inside of our root this theme provider so i'm going again to root file and here i'm going to wrap up the children and everything in the team provider so here i'm closing it and if we turn back maybe even yeah dark mode is already working but we still need that mod toggle button so we have also that one here on shed cn i'm going to copy it and we are going to put it again inside of our components directory so that one is called mod toggle.tsx i'm just going to paste it in and now if we go to our index here we can see that we have site header so i'm going in there and next to our github button i don't know if you can see the github button here i need to move my camera a little bit it's on the top right corner. So there we need to put the mod toggle, the new component that we implemented. You can see it now, so we can return to the project and here is the mod toggle. So we can put in light mode, then dark mode, and this is the easiest way to implement awesome looking dashboard from scratch. I hope you enjoyed in this video and for more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.